it's time for your main event right here on this edition of British Wrestling Weekly. And what a main event we have as NGW's first ever England v Scotland series concludes in the final match of the three, Scotland's Lionheart against the show stealer Nathan Cruz, and here he is. Nathan Cruz walks into this match as the NGW Undisputed Heavyweight Champion. But for this contest, the belts are not on the line. What's on the line may be just as much pressure for the champion than the titles themselves. Because what stands on the line is the pride of England. Because Nathan Cruz has been chosen to be the captain of Team England. And as a result, he will take on the captain of Team Scotland, that man right there, the controversial Scottish standout, Lionheart. Lionheart is a man who was very, very quick to point out that when he was main eventing shows in the United Kingdom, Nathan Cruz was still a trainee. Lionheart is a man that knows how to play professional wrestling in Great Britain like a fiddle. And it's no secret to anyone who watches British Wrestling Weekly, as you have to, have to imagine Team Scotland has been doing to do their homework for this series. It's no secret that Nathan Cruz, if he has one Achilles heel, it is that temper. And Lionheart, in the, in the pre-match interviews that we saw him give, to, to me at least, as, as a, you know, a, 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 a wrestling industry insider for over two decades, it appeared to me like Lionheart's statement was directly intended to not just get under the skin of Nathan Cruz, but shake his confidence. Because by saying publicly, I was in the main event, to a man who prides himself on being the main event, I was in the main event while you were still a student coming to shows, Anyone who knows Nathan will know that is the ultimate way to get under the skin of the NGW champion. And as much as this is an important match, the fact that Nathan Cruz is smiling, the fact that Nathan Cruz is not showing that frustration, seems to at least for me indicate that Cruz may have just had a number played on him by Lionheart. Let's see as this match goes on. Because Nathan Cruz, he has every right to be confident. He knows that right here in Keighley, he is of course going to be the favourite. As the captain of Team England, he will of course be the favourite. And as the NGW champion, he is the man to beat in British wrestling today. The most televised singles title in the United Kingdom today. But this match is not for the titles, it's for that pride. And Lionheart there, almost mocking Cruz. It's interesting. Lionheart, and let's not forget Lionheart, if you're not familiar with this man, he wrestled AJ Styles and was given a broken neck from the Styles Clash. It was a big news story here in the United Kingdom and actually made its way all across the world. There was a, uh, AJ Styles spoke about it on Chris Jericho's podcast, but Lionheart came back from that broken neck and recovered. And it's interesting, again, Lionheart, the way he backed off from Nathan Cruz, it's almost like he's mocking Nathan Cruz. Will it get under the skin of Cruz? Will it lead Cruz to make a mistake? Only time will tell. Waist lock there by the champion. Cruz the more muscular, and you've got to believe stronger of the two. He's not had a serious injury, unlike Lionheart, and he has youth on his side. But when it comes to the sport of professional wrestling, experience is so, so important. And when it comes to that experience, Lionheart, as he has pointed out, has a big upper hand. Straight into a hammerlock there by the champion. Lionheart looking for an escape. And talking about championships, I mentioned it earlier, the winner of TNA British Bootcamp 2, Mark Andrews, has been selected to get in the ring with the wild boar Mike Hitchman and, of course, Bubblegum for the finals of the Gen X League. We were short contestant and NGW management decided that to go in to Hull City Hall for such a big event, 
A great way to get that on the map was to take one of the best X Division wrestlers in the world and the winner of British Boot Camp and put him in the finals of the Gen X League. That is a big, big story and we will be covering it more in the coming weeks. But right now, the big story here is England versus Scotland and Nathan Cruz seemingly on top. He's got that arm in a bar, but remember, with the right amount of leverage, the arm and shoulder pinches dangerously close to the neck and that's something Lionheart looking to avoid there, looking for an escape, turns inside of Cruz and goes straight to the knee. It's that experience again and a hip toss and it was a big deep hip toss. And Lionheart proving not popular and look at the face of Cruz there because as Lionheart mocked the show stealer pose, that's the first time in this contest I've seen Cruz look frustrated and well look at the champion, turns that into a Monkey flip from nowhere, ducks a clothesline, comes back off the ropes with a big high knee. Textbook, trademark, Nathan Cruz in the early goings with that high knee and a deep uppercut. And look at the face of Lionheart, mock all you want, but Nathan Cruz is a strong, tough young man. Whips the Scott into the corner, Cruz hits hard, oh and a big elbow, and are we going to see that second rope inside, high cross body, we do! Comes down hard, ref down, two and, well, just a two, and just like that. Nathan Cruz showing his explosiveness. Absolutely explosive is Cruz, particularly since being the champion. Because that champion, if there was anything Cruz needed, it was those belts to prove his confidence being done. Oh, look at that, oh, whoa, 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 look at that. Right in front of us again, oh, and a big right hand. That looked, that, I mean, that was clearly a close fist, and again, and the referee here, one of our new referees, and he really wants to do something there because this kind of rule breaking, right to the eyes, I could see from my vantage point that he didn't have a clear, clear shot of that. But just like Joe Hendry we saw earlier, these Scots playing every dirty trick they can. And I'll tell you why I believe it is. It's because if they lose their matches by disqualification, they can claim it's biased English refereeing. So it's in their best interest to break the rules and push them as far as they can, knowing full well that the referees have probably been told, look at this again, Lionheart again, pushing the rules as far as they can be pushed without the referee declaring them a break and disqualifying him. I mean, you've got to give them credit for smart tactics here. And look, now on the ears of Cruz, and Cruz fighting out there, but that rule break, and we saw, it's definitely taken a toll on the champion. Hits the ropes, comes back here, and Lionheart, oh, Right under the jaw, yeah, look at that. Right under the jaw, the champion, just a two forearm across the face, and Cruz checking to see if he's got all these teeth there, and you can't blame him, because from where I'm sitting, that, that back elbow echoed around the whole building here. And Lionheart is, I tell you what, we knew Lionheart was gonna be a tough customer. We knew there was a reason he was picked as the captain of Team Scotland. But for the first time in this series, it's fair to say, that Team England is in serious trouble because it is tied at one all and the captain of Team England is in a bad, bad way in the early goings. There's one thing we've learned is that you can't write out Nathan Cruz and this crowd knows it too. Very interesting dynamics we saw earlier between Cruz and Zach Gibson. It's really unfortunate we had to go off air during that on last week's show, and fortunate we could, we could bring it to you at the start of this week's show, but there is no question that Nathan Cruz is beginning to feel the pressure of being the most marked man in British wrestling. Zach Gibson obviously wants his match. Rampage Brown after a rematch, and now Lionheart and the whole of Team Scotland. Nathan Cruz has a huge bullseye. I was gonna say on his chin, that was unfortunate timing, because once again, that closed fist right in the mouth for Cruz but Nathan Cruz has a huge bullseye, but if there's one man that can handle the pressure, it's Nathan Cruz, and look at that. Slides to the outside, suckers in Lionheart. And Cruz going, well, we've seen the crossbody from the, from the top, are we gonna go, oh, no, he goes for the knee, goes for that high knee. Lionheart ducks and Cruz with a big, big forearm. Oh, and look at this, textbook. Slingshot, belly to back suplex by the champion. And Lionheart bounced like a ball and two, just two. Well, that was close, very close, but not close enough because the England versus Scotland series concludes after the break right here on British Wrestling Weekly. Don't go anywhere. 
Well, back here on British Wrestling Weekly, and during the commercial break, this one has broken down because Team Scotland are here at ringside. Nathan Cruz hits that showstopper, the two knees in the face. It's one of his many finishing moves, but there is no referee to count the three because Team Scotland has come out here. Oh, no, there's Joe Hendry with a chair. Joe Hendry has a chair. Nathan Cruz hasn't seen it. What's going on here? And Lionheart looks like he's left it in the ring. Cruz has seen it. Is it too late? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Lionheart. Hits out the chair. No way. The ref hasn't seen it. No way. Team Scotland may just win this series. Two and... Oh, my God. There's... Matt Myers. Where did Matt Myers come from? Where did Matt Myers come from? The best friend and teammate of Nathan Cruz. And he literally appeared from nowhere. You see here on our replay, look at this, Nathan Cruz, back of his head, bounced off that chair, but it was not enough. And now, oh, look at this, Team Scotland beating down on Cruz. Matt Myers getting in the, Matt Myers is in the wrong part of ten off. And here's Liam Slayer and Robbie X, the rest of Team England. Will they be too late? And this one, well, this one is broken down. We knew it had the potential to. And now we are in full Team Warfare mode right here on British Wrestling Weekly because Team England and Team Scotland has broken down into a huge brawl in our main event. The real story here is Nathan Cruz who took that finishing move to the back of his skull and he has not looked in a good way since that happened. Our cameraman in trouble here at ringside. We apologise if this is getting a bit shaky but our camera crew are literally in trouble bringing you this action. Crew sliding back in the ring and look, the champion looks seriously, seriously out of it. And who can blame him? The back of his skull bounce off that chair like a rubber ball. And now Lionheart goes to work on the NGW champion with kicks and boots, punches and stomps. Look at that. Close fist right again. And the referee, I understand why he's allowing this, the rules in this to be pushed, because the stakes and the pride of the country are at risk. But there has to come a limit. As Cruz, whoa, whoa, Cruz, Cruz ducking the onslaught from Lionheart. Oh no. And the tables have turned. Uh, the tables are turned here on Lionheart, and now this is this could break down badly. And Cruz distracting the ref himself as Team England taking it to Team Scotland and Team Scotland jumping Team England. Wow, again, this is, we need to get some more officials or something out here because we want to see a clear and decisive winner in this England v Scotland series. But by the looks of it, nothing can possibly be clear and decisive with these eight men going at it, both in and out of the ring. And kid fight there, and Joe Hendry helping up Lionheart, who just, you know, took a three on one hammer in, and it, uh, it would be too biased if I didn't say it was Nathan Cruz this time who broke the rules and cheated. You can say turn around, fair play, but he goes for that. Well, he, was, he was going for that. Show stolen there. Fireman's carry, Mitch and Oko driver. Lionheart wrestled out of it with forearms and elbows, and Cruz drops down. Oh, and he's going for the. Oh, is he going to get that? No way, is he going to hit that? Texas Cloverleaf. Oh my God. We saw this in that epic match with Mark Haskins. And Lionheart is now in a lot of trouble because Nathan Cruz learned that. Oh no, and look at Kid Fight. And now, oh, and the bell rings, yeah. And this is, oh, this is broken down. We saw that in the match with Mark Haskins and Kid Fight. I said they were watching British Wrestling Weekly before this. And that was a clear indication because when Cruz got that submission, all hell broke loose. And now it's breaking loose all around this building. And look at this, you've got Matt Myers there. Whoa, Matt Myers and Joe Hendry. Myers got the, the wrong end of that. And Liam Slater now, this young man, fired up and Joe Hendry backing off. And that is, well, I mean, the referee tried to fight, making that decision for the longest time possible. Let's see the official word. Both men have been disqualified. Oh! The result of this contest Wow! double disqualification. Well, I thought Team England were going to win there by disqualification, but the referee, well, that's an unpopular decision. The referee has disqualified both.